example number 42, it is given that P is equal to log 25 to base 6 and Q is equal to log 2 to base 6, expressed in terms of P and Q, each of the following, so part A, log 200 to base 6, part V log 3.2 to base 6, and part C, log 75 to base 6, isn't it? So the first thing meaning, you must write, you must write these two address in terms of, in terms of 6, 2, and 25. So 25 can be factorized, isn't it? So there you have P is equal to log 25 to base 6, 6. So this is the same as log 25 is 5 squared to base. So the square 2 can be become the, becomes the coefficient, isn't it? So it means P is equal to 2 log, 2 log 5 to base 6, isn't it? Are we together? So if you divide both sides by 2, you get log 5 to base 6 is a half P. So where you see log 5 to base 6, you put a half, a half P. Then the next one is, Q is already in its simplest form, isn't it? Log, log 2 to base 6 is Q. So these are the two terms we are going to use, isn't it? Meaning we have to express them in terms of both already 6 is the base. So what we are, we are expressing is this for part A, this 200 must be in terms of 5 and 2. Are you seeing that? 200 must be expressed in terms of 5 and 2 only, isn't it? Good. So can you express that? So part A we have log 200 to base 6. So what is 200? Can you factorize 200? What do you get? In terms of 5 and 2. What is 200 in terms of 5 and 2? 200 is factorized. Use a calculator to factorize. Calculator is factorized. So that is 5 squared times 2 squared. No, 5 squared, 200, 100 is 25 times 4. Meaning 200 is 25 times 6, isn't it? That is 5 squared times 2 cubed, isn't it? So 200 is 2 cubed times 5 squared, you factorize it and you must factorize it such that you are able to get 5 and you are able to get 2. So we have 2 and 5 because the powers of a log are coefficients, isn't it? Yeah. So when you take the log inside, multiplication changes to addition. So take the log inside, meaning you get log 2 cubed to base 6, multiplication changes to addition, you get log, log 5 squared to base. Are you seeing that? Yes. Then after that, the power is the coefficient, isn't it? The power is that? The powers becomes the coefficient, okay? Yes. So there we have 3, 3 log 2 to base, to base 6 plus, here we have 2, 2 log 5 to base, to base 6, isn't it? Then you substitute, where you see log 2 to base 6, you put the value of log 2 to base 6, which is? which is Q, isn't it? Yes. And where you see log 5 to base 6, you put the value of log 5 to base 6, which is a half? Mm -hmm. A half P. Are we together there? Yes. So in the end we have 3 times log 2 to base 6, which is Q. This is 3 Q, 3 times Q, isn't it? Then plus 2 times log 5 to base 6, 2 times a half P, you get it is? Mm -hmm. It is just P, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, 2 times a half P, this is 2, then log 5 to base 6 is a half P. So a half goes with 2, you remain with? You remain with P. You are done, isn't it? Are we together? So you've expressed part A in terms of P and Q. So it is 3Q plus P. Then you go to part B. So we have, we have there log 5. 2 base 6 is a half P here, and we have log 2, 2 base 6 is Q. So these are the facts, those are the relationships we are using, because I want to wrap this to here to most place. I go to part B, we have log 3.2 to base 6. So can you express log 3.2 to base 6 in terms of P and Q? It must be in terms of 5 and 2. 
only, isn't it? So 3.2 is 16 over 5, isn't it? Isn't it? So log 3.2 is 16 over 5 or 32 over 10, isn't it? Isn't it? So this is already 5, meaning this 16 you make it in terms of 2. So 16 is the same as 2 raised to power. Isn't it? So you see it is now in terms of 2 and 5 because we have log 5 and log 2. Are we together? Yeah. So from there we now get, when you take log inside, division goes to subtraction, isn't it? Yeah. So there we have log to be 6 of 2 raised to power 4. Then that division goes to subtraction, log to be 6 of 5. Isn't it? When you take log inside the bracket, division changes to subtraction from the lows, isn't it? So from there, the power is the coefficient, meaning this power 4 becomes the coefficient. So you have 4 log, log 2 to base 6 minus log 5 to base 6. Then you substitute. You substitute, isn't it? What is log 2 to base 6? Is Q, isn't it? So it means this is 4 times Q, isn't it? So you get 4, 4Q. Four then minus, what is log 5 to base 6? A half? A half P, isn't it? So it is minus a half P, and you are done. So that is how to deal with that case of part B. Move to part C, log 75 to base 6. So that is assignment. Part C is assignment. We are now going to do part C, okay? Good.